Donna Hay is a global phenomenon. She's Australia's best-selling cookbook author. She's setting the benchmark for food publishing worldwide and she's returning to Foxtel with a brand new series, Donna Hay, Basics to Brilliance. Welcome to the show, Donna. Wow. Thank you. And she's come in bringing little boxes with with. But with bows around them, I'm so excited. I can't even speak. Can we open so them? Yes. Clearly. Hopefully, they're more brilliant than basic. Well, they look good. Oh, I've got you. cookies. Or oh, do you say biscuits or cookies? Cookies. Yeah, cookies. Yum, chip. smell those. Smell your My cookies. My favourite chocolate chip cookies, crunchy on the outside, soft, chewy in the middle. Oh, uh, yeah. Best how, of both worlds. How do you guarantee the soft in the middle? The cooking time and the amount of sugar. Is it? Mm. Make me say it. Go on. So the, <laughs> <laughs> the combination of sugar as well, caster sugar and brown sugar, and the brown sugar makes it all fudgy oh. and the caster sugar makes it crunchy. Ooh. Right. I didn't know that. I just thought it yeah, was one see sugar. see that on the show. See? Wow. Well, talk us through basics to brilliance because are you sort of going back and saying, here's how you cook it basically, and once you know the basics, you can jazz it up? Yeah, absolutely. So anything from chocolate chip cookies that then you make into cookies and cream ice cream or whipped peanut butter chocolate chip cookie sandwiches mm. or really simple things like the perfect crackle pork belly, like perfect every time, no fail, I've got you back. What's the secret there? Well, I cook my pork belly skin side down first, which is a little bit controversial. Mm -hmm. mm. But then it, like all the fat then comes all the way through the pork belly meat keeps it all juicy and moist and then you flip it for the last 30 minutes right. and you get this super crisp crunchy crackle that Easy. makes sense it makes perfect sense along with all this discussion of fat and sugar i know that you also <laughs> have been on a quest for wellness really and it's, and you it's another part of your work as well is is looking at fresh and light food yeah well i mean it's also behind just being able to cook the basics if you can cook the basics then you're actually cooking for yourself, having less processed food, understanding what you're putting in your body, obviously going to feel better. So I guess I've gone back to the starting point of let's get everyone cooking, let's get them understanding the basics, get their confidence in the kitchen, and then we go from there. What is the next quinoa or kale? What's the next hipster vegetable that no one knows about? So we can just jump on that well, bandwagon. I don't think it's new, but cauliflower is having a comeback. Mm. Oh, so comeback vegetables. Really? It's totally. The Brussels sprout and the cauliflower on the wow. comeback. Are they a version of like the 80s rock band that keeps touring? Totally. Yeah. 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 And <laughs> keeps to run out of money back yeah. on the road. <laughs> <laughs> With yeah. Tell cauliflower. me a good way to do cauliflower. You've got to roast it. It takes on a whole new life. And I haven't eaten cauliflower for goodness since my mother boiled it, mm. which is a very unpleasant way to eat cauliflower. But if you roast it just with even salt and pepper and olive oil, you can chuck some herbs on it if you like. It goes all brown and crunchy on the outside, is a totally different flavour from what you remember, and it's amazing, and it's totally nutrient-packed. Wow. How long do you roast it for? Just until, well, about, it takes a little while, like about 35, 40 minutes. I like mine really quite golden and caramelised oh, because it just yeah. has a yummy flavour. Right. Because they say it's got, it's got some, it gives you gas, which is good. <laughs> no, but is the good, good? gas. There's good gas. Is any gas good? I thought there was like a good gas thing. <laughs> That's what you tell your wife, I know. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, you run with that because it's Amanda and I. Not. On our wedding night. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, that's a sure. I happen to know that the two of you have something in common. What? Brendan, you'll be excited to hear that Donna does stand up paddle boarding. Really? I thought you were going to say stand up comedy. I was I about to start panicking. <laughs> oh, no. give us a joke, Donna. Yeah, come on, say it's a joke. Really, you do that? You're the a fastest bit. growing recreational sport in the world. Is it? Apparently so. Wow. Jonesy does it every day. Do you every single day? But the people in my life say I'm a bit obsessed with it. Right. I, I don't see that I'm obsessed. What about when it's really windy, though? Yeah, I'll go out. You still will? Yeah. Pouring yeah, rain, you'll it. go out. Really? Oh, yeah. You do look incredible. You've even got guns. Mm. Look at your arms. They're extraordinary. Oh, that's from the show, Whisking. Oh, yeah. that must be it. On yeah, both because sides? I cook in real time. Do you? I just make the crew just stand there and watch. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> Slow cooked meals must take hours. Yes. They do. They do. Can you still at your level occasionally stuff up? Oh, yeah, absolutely. Mm. Like, yes. so, like, What's an example of you stuffing up? Yeah, I get distracted, especially when people come over. Yeah. Mm, a few glasses of something or other. Yeah, and then I just, yeah, mm. it gets a little overcooked. And do or... you think people do that on purpose? They distract you because they think, I'm going to show that Donna Hay. She's this is going to be funny. She's going to muck these chops up. She'll yeah. be calling for a Domino's pizza yeah. in a minute. Yeah, so, so Donna, <laughs> it's never been that bad. Yeah, so tell us about your stand-up <laughs> paddle boarding. <laughs> Yeah, then, then, you, that, then I get into that. Yeah, it's totally sudden, distracted. I'm really good at overheating a pan 
too, if I'm just going to pan fry something, it's like volcanically hot. I get this circular right. on pan. Non-stick, you think you're the business. And it's but it's 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 rubbish. It's just it's got all stuck bits on it and it's <laughs> like I let my kid use it. It's got it. nothing to do with your Yeah, look, let's blame the kids. So what what mm. do you do to make a fry pan because that was an expensive fry pan, now it's ruined. What do I do to get that back or can, replace it? That's it. <laughs> yeah. So you can See, I a, just buy mid-road ones because I know I'm going to ruin them. So those yes. ca- you know those cast iron ones, they're really good, aren't they? Well, a bit heavy. They yeah. are heavy. I can't lift yeah. them. I use cast iron on the show. That's why that came from. Yeah. I No, I can't lift Mate, them. you would do well in Wentworth with those. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, that's on Foxtel too. Yeah, we could just exactly. swap over. Maybe Donna Hay comes into Wentworth. And yeah. you're cooking for the prisoners. You know, oh, my God, how exciting is that going to be? Oh yeah, you're about to get shivved and then you bring out, these, you bring out your cookies. <laughs> We've written it ourselves. Oh, this is great. Just don't let me near the ironing press. It scares me. <laughs> it's always great to talk to you. Donna Hay, Basics to Brilliance, premieres 8.30 tonight on Lifestyle Food. Donna Hay, thank you. Thanks. W-S.